Welcome back to Let's Replay Neverwinter Nights 2 Original Campaign. This is Big Lowe's. We're in the Mayor of Dead Men. Right outside the Swamp Ruins, we're gonna go inside, and as we do, we see a female elf watching us. Possibly following us this whole time. Now, I attempted this episode twice before, and unfortunately, it crashed both times. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up to the point where it crashes because it crashes in the same place each time. I'm going to save the game. And then if it crashes again, then I'll just reload from there. And that way I won't lose all my footage. Alright, let's do that. Let's do... Shield. I'm going to run this... I'm going to run through this thing as quickly as I can. Getting all the treasure as I can. So let's put the club and the torch here. We'll do that. I forgot to put this in Bell's quick key, so there it is. You have need of me? Alright, let's go this way. And there is a lizardling. I'm gonna go back to my crossbow. This one stands no chance. I'm gonna hit him. Bevel's gonna attempt a knockdown on him. Yeah! And he resisted it, unfortunately. I don't Press want you casting any Quickly. spells. Ah, uh. oh, you missed. Come on, Bevel. Bust him up! Focus! To the abyss with you. He's still not dead. Bevel, focus! All right, so now we have a short bow for Bevel. Yes, indeed. Let's give him some arrows yes. too. Yes, indeed. There we go. Yes. All right, we come this way, and we have some lizardlings here. Let's see if we can get an area effect spell. Now we have to be pretty close to cast scare. Um, the Shaman, let's cast, uh, the Water Frost. What's up? Bevel, get over here. There we go. Take care of him. I will do what I can. Okay. Now we got him in a good area. Can we do... Can we do Scare? Like, right there? Don't do magic missile though, I don't want that. Okay, one of them failed to save, the other did not. Bevel, go and knock him down, will you? Stop casting that. Shoot him. Man, you missed badly. Alright, he's dead. Now attack him. He's scared, so he's not going to do anything. He's running away. 12 damage. Nice. Dead. Okay. Yes. This is probably another short bow. Got it. You know what, let's just keep it. We have a crate over here. With a gem, some scale mill, and some bolts. I cannot travel quickly carrying all this. The bolts are plus one. We're going to equip those. That'll make it easier to damage things. It'll do an extra point of damage. The scale mill is unequivocal by Janik. It's equivocal by Bevel, but it's worse than the, uh, than the chain mill that he has right now. Over here we got two more cure light wounds potions and some arrows. We'll get the arrows to bubble. Yes indeed. Let's have you equip your bow. Yes. Let's go this way. We'll put the torch back on so we can see. 
Here's a fork in the road. If we go to our right, it'll go to the main path. If we go to the left, it'll go to another area with potentially some treasure. So we're going to go that way. And as you can see, there are some creatures over here. In these days, Let's try casting sleep on them. And I'm going to go back to the crossbow. Okay. It made the swamp beetle go to sleep. So we could potentially coup de gras that one. But I think we're just Let's gonna leave it. Let's see what you've got. I am your death. So Bevel missed, but Janik hit. Bust him up. Get him. All right, go back to your great sword, and then knock him down. I guess you're not too happy with me. Up. Oh, there we go. There's still one that's asleep over there. Okay, Bevel. Coup de gras that one. Well, we still can. Alright, dead. I will do what I can. Well, I didn't want that, so we're gonna have to rest, but I'm gonna have to wait on that one. So we got a Cure Light Wounds potion. And a beetle gland. Three Cure Light Wounds Potions and three Malachites. That'll bring us some money. By the way, there's a large trap right here. You can see it now. But if you go into this little area right here, you'll miss it. And my shield's wearing off. That's too bad. So we got several enemies in here. Let's cast Grease right there. Yes, indeed. Let's go to the bow. Maybe you can hit Let's that Let's see guy. what you've... Yeah. Alright, got him. There's actually three enemies in here. Press the attack, quickly! Alright, come back. Hit by a magic missile, huh? Alright, go back to the great sword and knock him down. Allez, me vos grain. This with you. Well, I didn't want that, but... <laughs> Jesus, Bevel. Focus, will you? <laughs> Alright, now he's dead. Now you can go. <laughs> you missed again. <laughs> dead. To the abyss with you. Okay, we got two crates over here. Let's check them out. Two Cure Light Wounds Potions, 74 gold pieces, and an acid flask. That'll help if we ever encounter a troll. Healer's Kit plus one. I love those things. Those things are great. Alright. We don't have very many good offensive spells left. All right, Bring knock him down me. and shoot. Knock down, resisted. All right, let's bring the familiar away. Well, I guess. We'll go back to melee. Dead. Let's see what you right, got. Bevel, get him. Get him, Bevel. Get him. It looks like we're doing days, huh? Didn't work though. Let's do it again. Dabra. All right, now it works. Dead. 26 XP. And we do have another short bow. I cannot travel quickly carrying all this. I guess that's too much for you, huh? Okay. 
We have another crate in here. Magic weapon. We could probably put that on Bevel's great sword. Another acid flask. Cure light wounds. We can't use it. Our use magic device skill is not high enough. But once it is, we'll be able to cast some divine spells. We open this door, we have some shamans. Let's back up and shoot a bow. We'll have you equip your bow. I will do what I can. Oh yeah, we don't have your crossbow, do you? You shoot. You come over here and shoot. Yeah, we're just gonna have to take that damage, unfortunately. All right, Janik. Can we get to it with this spell? Uh, unfortunately, we cannot. We can get him though. No, we can't. Okay, you know what? Go back to your great sword and let's push through this guy. Looks like we can't really do anything. All right, push, shoot him then. Okay, so he's dead, but Bevel is now dazed. We're gonna have to use Jedley's loop. Uh oh. Uh, that's kind of bad, actually. Let's go back to our club. He might actually be dazed. Let's see if we can club him. All right, he's dead now. Another short bow. Cannot travel quickly carrying all this. All right, let's drink a potion. Let's drink another potion. Now I could rest, but we have two more enemies that we have to take care of before we What's take up? on the main group. Let's go this way. I will lead now. Follow. Go back to the crossbow. Yes, indeed. And we'll go to bow and arrow. Shit. Let's see. Six damage. All right, that's good. I will do what I can. Come over here and let's see if we can get him. Keep attacking the same guy. Dead. Good. I will do what I can. All right, Bevel, go to the great sword and do a knockdown. Ow! They resisted it, unfortunately. Good shot, Janik. So we got some more great swords. These are just like the guys at the entrance. Okay, now would be a good time to rest. I will lead now. Follow. Okay, so we're gonna put on mage armor and shield. We could also put on magic weapon on Bevel. And we could also have Bevel put aid with the amulet on both of us. Now, I'm gonna save now because before it crashed twice when I did a certain combination of spells that I knew was guaranteed to work. But of course, since it was guaranteed to work, the game crapped out on me. All right, so let's try it again, and if it does crash, then we will reload from this point and try something else. All right, we'll come up here, open the door. Actually, let's put on that magic weapon. Where is it? Okay, we'll have yes, indeed. put aid on Janik. Then on himself. You have need of me? Okay. So let's go in the room and yes, actually indeed. I want you in the room, Bevel, so come on. 
Oh, great spirits of the stone tomb, please hear our plea. The other lizardling tribes take our territory. They wage war. And before we fight them for our ancestral hatching grounds, we ask for your blessings. There certainly are an awful lot of them. Uh, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. A warm blood? Here! Your very presence offends the stone god. Okay, so neither of these work because we haven't invested any conversation skills. So we're going to do this one. Thanks for opening the door. Now you die. Kill them! Okay. So the first spell I would like to do is Grease, and I'm going to put that right there. Yay, Koroi. Bring it to okay. me! I can do that! You come up and you attempt to knock down. I will do what I can. Now, it always crashes... Whoa. It always crashes when I cast Sleep on these guys for some reason. And it always works. Most of them go to sleep and then we can coup de gras them, but right after the spell is cast, the game crashes. And I don't know why it does that, but maybe we'll... Do it a little bit differently this time. Let's do... Alright, let's do sleep on... That one. Alright, there is sleep. So now I'm gonna have Bevel go and do a coup de gras on. Let's see what you've got. On these guys over here. To the abyss with you. I'm gonna go back to my club. And this one stands no chance. Coup de gras him. Bevel. What? What is wrong? Ah, oh, that's what happened. All right, we're back. The game crashed again. So we're gonna try this again. Oh, great spirits of the stone tomb. Please hear our plea. The other lizardling tribes take our territory. They wage war. And before we fight them for our ancestral hatching grounds, we ask for your blessings. There certainly are an awful lot of them. Uh, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. A warm blood? Here! Your very presence offends the stone god. Thanks for opening the door, now you die. Kill them! Okay, so what happened, I believe, is when you cross this threshold, it makes it crash, and I don't know why. And I don't want to get too close to these guys, because you can be surrounded and overwhelmed rather quickly. So we'll just put that there, and we'll have Bubble come up and... He'll be like... Oh, he'll be like a tackle and block. Block him. Okay. Press the attack, quickly! Now, I don't really want to... You know, abuse this spell because it does affect Bevel. Uh oh. What happened? I want to cast Scare right here. But it won't. It won't do it. That's weird. I wonder why. I guess you have to center it on somebody. Well, it looks like it only affected one of them. I will keep attacking him. Press the attack quickly. All right. How about we do a Jedley's loop on these guys? Let's go. Let's send the bat outside. We don't Press need the it. attack quickly. Devil. Just attack. 
The journal has been updated Wizard's Arsenal. How did... Why did that update my journal? I don't get it. Press the attack. All right, Quickly. you. You can do more knockdowns. Let's come out here. Double. Bust them up. Get them. Okay. Press the attack quickly. We're gonna go back to our club. Let's ray of frost him. Let's go. All right, he's dead. Let's go. It All was right, a mistake he's dead. to challenge me. I think that was the one who was. Who was scared, huh? Note to self, do not cast sleep in here. Dead. For some reason when you cast sleep in here, it crashes the game. Alright, so we have con damage. Plus one dagger and two potions of cure light wounds. Alright, so we have some crates over here. Thunderstone, sh 17 shurikens, and plus I one. I cannot travel quickly tools. carrying all this. How about if we give this to you? Okay. Well, that leaves one thing to do, and that would be to go to this chest. Alright, so we have some type of object, which is actually the Golden Chalice of Lathander. Unlimited uses of light, and you can do mass cure serious wounds, three charges per use. So you could use it one time because it has three charges, okay. And my frame rate is totally died, and I don't know why. Alright, you know what? Before I take it, I'm gonna check to see what is going on here, because I don't. Not exactly sure what it was, but it's a lot better now. So let's take everything. We were risking life and limb for that? None of this makes any sense. Dagon can do his own blasted quest from now on. When you're done searching around, let's get out of here. Yeah, we've taken everything. Let's go. And we are instantly transported back to West Harbor. Which is a good thing because it's quite a walk. One loading screen is enough for me. You have returned. And you have brought the shard. That's all you can say? I almost died out there! If I did not believe you could handle the task, I would have sent another. Yeah, well, you weren't out there in the swamp getting attacked by lizard folk. No, I was here attending the wounded, Bevel. Now find Marion and do the same. I don't see how you put up with him. Now, for the shard. Let me see it. Glad I'm not the only one who thinks we should leave Bevel out of this. What I have to say to you is not for Bevel's ears, and after this night, you two shall not travel together again. Bevel has his uses, but it is not wise to depend on someone of Starlane blood for too long. Also, his complaining tires me, and will not serve you where you are bound. What were those ruins in the swamp? Many such ruins lie within the mare and beneath it. They are of ancient Ilfarn, an empire once forged from an alliance of dwarfs and elves. All that remains are ruins, and little else. And their empire lives on only in history books and stories. Tell me about the shard. That shard is one of a pair. Both were found after the battle that destroyed West Harbor long ago. 
My half-brother Duncan and I asked a mage in Neverwinter to examine the shards for enchantments, but he found nothing except a faint magical aura, residue of the battle, and so I kept one shard and the other I gave to Duncan. Not long after I returned to West Harbor, I sealed it away in the ruins. I have an uncle. So to speak, it would be more appropriate to say that I have a half-brother. Duncan, like Bevel, has many faults that would make it wise not to rely on him or call him kin. Oh my god. Why is my frame rate doing this? It makes no sense. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, I don't know if that will permanently fix it, but it's definitely better. How long ago was this battle in West Harbor fought? It was long ago, and it was a battle that did not concern West Harbor, but the village was cut up in it like many such villages in the Mayor of Dead Men. We knew little about what had sparked the conflict. Demons were involved, led by a warlock of great power. We only knew him as the King of Shadows. The forces of Neverwinter attempted to drive the demons back. Many villagers fled. Some taking the road, others wading into the swamp, anything to escape the battle. There was an explosion, pure and white. Then, nothing more. I feel magic from the shard. Strong magic. I also feel a frame rate that's gone to crap. Hold on. Be right back again. Alright, let's try it again this time. Strong magic. Shard. Strange. Perhaps the attack awakened it. If so, then perhaps a second look at these shards would yield different results. But such divinations would be beyond anyone here in West Harbor, including Tarmus. Yeah, I don't know what is going on with this frame rate. It's crazy. It just jumps up like, you know, nothing's wrong, and then it just goes down like, you know, something turned on. on and when I go out to see what's going on in the task manager, nothing's changed. It's crazy. Hmm. Are you sure those creatures were looking for the shard? That is the only reason I can think of for why they came. Am I certain? No. But my instincts tell me they were looking for it. Okay, maybe your instincts are wrong. It is the only thing of substance in this village that would cause them to tear it apart as they did. They were not looking for gold or valuables, nor did they seem to care about us, unless we got in their way. Why did you put it in the ruins? I could not bring myself to cast it away. Yet at the same time, I did not wish to keep it close. You are too young to remember what occurred, I know. But the battle was a terrible one. And that shard, it reminds me too much of that night. Okay, I think we've asked everything. I retrieved the shard, now what? I need you to go to the city of Neverwinter, find my half-brother Duncan, retrieve the second shard, and take it to a mage you both can trust. Duncan owns an inn in the docks district of the city, the Sunken Flagon. Not the most reputable place, but safe enough. I better not have to take Bevel. No. As you probably realize, he will be of no help outside of West Harbor. He would only slow you down. Bevel is made for simpler things. Right. Okay, so I'm going to check and see if anything's turned on again. I'll be right back. Okay, Bevel's made for simpler things, huh? I'll say, like cleaning the stables. Oh, man, my frame rate's even worse now. It's down to like four. It is a better fate than others, I assure you. Why don't we dump this shard or give it up? The problem is more complicated than that. If we give them the shard, I doubt it will prevent them from believing the second one lies here as well. Or others. Others? We only found two. It is possible there were others, scattered into the swamp or taken away, or 
have met other ends. What if the beast tracked me down? That is possible, but this village cannot shelter you or survive another attack. On the road, moving, you have a chance. Once you reach Neverwinter, it may prove more difficult for them to attack you. Okay, I've heard enough. How do I get to Neverwinter? Head to the small port town of Highcliff when you are free of the swamp. There, seek passage on a ship to Neverwinter. The beast that attacked us will leave West Harbor alone once they realize their quarry has fled. If all goes well, you should be a Neverwinter before they find your trip. Say your farewells. Your boots may travel many roads before you return. I let some of the others know you are leaving, but not the why of it. Why don't you take the shard of Neverwinter? I was raised amongst the wild elves. For all my years amongst the race of man, they make little sense to me. You are one of them, and you understand them. I have done all I can to hide your presence. If these beasts come again, West Harbor will need me. Hide my presence? What have you done? I have created a screen of activity. On a normal night, your trip with Bevel would have been easily spotted, but not tonight. It still may not be enough, but there is little else I can do. That's your farewell, then. Perhaps one day we will speak again and gain an understanding of each other. You seem eager to put me in danger. We are all in danger. I will try my very best to keep the hunters busy. If Timora wills it, your journey will be quick and safe. But Lady Luck is fickle indeed in the mare. Steal yourself for danger. I want to talk to some people first. Return when you are ready to leave, and we will speak of the path you must take. Okay, so... Yeah, right now my frame rate is real bad. Real bad. So, maybe when I do another episode it'll be a lot better. So, I guess in the next one we'll talk to all these people and see if we can't get anything for the trip. Will we be able to finagle anything? Find out next time. This is Big Low signing off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time in Tango Media.